Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll be creating realistic interior materials. We're starting with a house model that has floor to ceiling windows on three sides. To create the illusion of an outdoor environment, we'll use a background sphere. First, add a sphere model from D5 Asset Library. Insert your desired background image into its base color map and turn on the emissive option. Don't forget to check invisible in ray tracing, so it won't interfere with your HDRI lighting. Set the base color to black, then scale up the sphere until it completely surrounds your house model. You can fine tune the view by adjusting the material UV. This will give you a perfectly framed outdoor scene when looking out from the interior. Now let's create realistic raindrops on the windows. Start by changing the glass material template from transparent to custom. This makes it easier to see and adjust the raindrop pattern. Apply a raindrop opacity map to the base color channel and adjust its UV mapping until you're happy with the distribution. Once the pattern looks right, copy that adjusted base color map and remove it from the base color channel. Switch the material template back to transparent and paste the map into the normal channel. This technique gives you authentic looking raindrops. Next, let's work on common interior materials. Start by lowering the color value of the latex paint to create a softer tone that complements the moody lighting. For fabric materials, enhance their texture by selecting the cloth material template and increasing the normal intensity for added depth. If you're using leather materials from the D5 Asset Library, adjust the UV scale to ensure the pattern looks natural. When working with translucent lampshades, the cloth template works well to just enable invisible and ray tracing to allow light to pass through realistically. For translucent stone lampshades, here's a useful trick. Instead of simply applying a texture and turning on emissive lighting, First process the map by desaturating it and boosting the black and white contrast. This ensures that black areas block light completely while white areas allow light transmission. Apply this modified map to the emissive channel and you'll have a beautifully layered stone lampshade with natural light diffusion. Once all materials are set, finalize your scene by setting the aspect ratio to 16:9 and rendering your images. That completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.